Hey guys, check it out. We're down at the impoundment. Um, I took today off just to kind of get some stuff done. I haven't taken much time off this year. I was looking out the window this morning down towards the impoundment uh, just with my daughter and watching for those ducks and we saw those three mallards and they circled the impoundment and then they boogied out of here and went back and landed in uh, the roosting spot. So we're standing on the edge of the pond here. I decided I'd come down and see if those mallards were in the impoundment. So I'm walking down the path and we're walking out onto the berm here. Start to look out into the impoundment. What the hell? All my water's gone. Just literally overnight disappeared. I was like, I thought somebody might have been messing with me. I don't know, some guy moved in next door over the summer, unfortunately. And uh, But anyway, I came down and checked my water control structure. And all the boards were in. But upon further inspection, take a look at this hole on the right hand side. My pipe washed out on me. So, who knows, uh, it's probably been leaking just slowly, slowly, slowly. And you know, we've had some cold temperatures here, so that might have also contributed to it. But this whole thing drained out. I'll try to give you a still shot here. This whole thing drained out overnight into my pond. Again, I'm standing on the berm here. Here's the pond. Now <laughs> the pond is really full. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let me just give you a quick shot out here in my deep spot. Just kind of, it's kind of cool to see actually what this looks like now that it's, here's the deepest spot of the impoundment basically. And I don't know, kind of interesting. I actually kicked out a big rooster just before I filmed this. So they'll probably be in here now that the ducks won't be. So my uh, experiment with respect to the ducks waterfall is probably over for this fall. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm, it's kind of a bummer, but as I mentioned, this is really, this whole thing is just really a learning experiment because I'm literally working on the plans to build a much bigger version of this on our main hunting property and I'm just learning all the lessons the hard way and the big lesson here is you have to use those anti-seep collars uh, which I'll show you in a second here all right guys so this what you're looking at here is an anti-seep collar basically all it is is just a piece of rubber in between some boards and a frame and what you're supposed to do is you just cut a hole in the middle and you put your pipe through. So out on my water control structure out here, there's an eight inch pipe coming out the back that goes through the berm and, and drains out. Uh, these things are supposed to prevent exactly what I just showed you, a big washout. I didn't put one in because I didn't really know anything about it to begin with, number one. And number two, this is all basically clay in the area that I'm in uh, so I'm like there's no way this thing's gonna leak but it did and in fact the guy who really inspired me to do this is some other guy on YouTube capper the same damn thing happened to him so this is an absolute necessity I just happen to have a couple of these uh, anti seep collars because we're going up north next week at least we're scheduled to unless we get rained out to do some work and utilize these things. So that's the only reason I have one, but uh, I doubt I'm gonna get to it this fall, but certainly next spring, I'm gonna have to dig up my pipe out here and reinstall these things because obviously you don't, uh, the chances are pretty high that you're gonna have a failure. And it's crazy, because I drove, uh, let's see here, there's the excavator. That machine weighs about 15,000 pounds, given it's on track, so you know, your compactions is what it is. But nonetheless, I drove over that berm dozens and dozens and dozens of times. And nonetheless, uh, we still got a washout this fall. So the guy I worked with from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service said, 
it's common, especially once you start getting big temperature changes, things start freezing and thawing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Uh, we've had ice out here every morning, uh, and then it's thawing out as the sun comes up. So that's a huge lesson learned. I hope it saves someone else this problem in the future, and uh, definitely uh, something I'm not going to forget for our next project. So appreciate you tuning in. Talk to you later.